Greetings, greetings to all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you want to do to this channel, subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support the brand, you can just right there, inspired by dreams. That shop. Can't miss it. We got everything from hoodies, hats, snapbacks, a little bit of everything. Today's episode, we're about to get into. I want to know this question because this has been a thing going around social media how pets are more loving to people than people are to people. What? Is this true? Could pets start taking over companionship? And when I mean companionship, I'm just talking about being there for, the, for their owners. And are we to the point where pets are more loving than our own people? Let's check it out. Let me tell you something. Pay attention to your pets. If you have a cat, dog, you know, those type of pets, you know, those companion pets, pay attention to how they are around your partner. Because you hear these men talk about, oh, she's gonna die alone, oh, she's gonna be a cat lady, oh, she's gonna. But let me tell you something. Those same cats and dogs, when you take your last breath, believe it or not, they will be right there by your side, unlike these men. Narcissistic and toxic men do not like pets. They are jealous. Man, you got me thinking back. Of even the, when I say they are jealous of the damn pets, they are jealous of the pets. Anything that has your attention. What? Anything that's not focused on them, they are jealous of. They will starve your cats, your dogs. They won't, they'll mistreat them. They'll low key hit them. They'll lock them up if they have like in a cage or in a room. They will torture your pets. I'll, I'll go because, okay, here's a good way for me to do it. Like, And if your pet ever get around them and your pet kind of jumps or your pet grrr at them or some, do something, I'm telling you, pay attention to your pets. Your pets will never lie. Your pets are very intuitive and they know that that person is not right. They instinctively know. And they will show you every time they'll come and they'll curl up next to you and they'll you know they would you know be in a and not too far from you they would not approach that person they would not want to be they don't show any kind of love towards that person because they know that person is not they know that person is wicked she might have some truth to this just a little bit of truth to this when it comes to instincts and things like that you have to be uh, you have to understand that pets they do have a uh, more senses than we do i believe yeah, that's something i'm gonna look into but I'm pretty sure that pets, they do see things and feel things oftentimes way more natural than humans do. So she does have a point. They know that person. They can, it's like they can sense that whatever that person got going on inside is not right. Pay attention to your pets and pay attention to how your partners treat your pets. Now, granted, I know that some people, you know, they might be scared of a dog, they might, a cat or whatever, they might have had an experience, but narcissistic people, they can't stand pets. And if you got a pet, they'll encourage you to get rid of the pet, or they'll make excuses why they can't come to your house, or they, I'm telling you, they won't. They won't even throw the, the, a ball to the door, nothing. They won't interact with your pets in no way, shape, form, or fashion. I'm telling you, pay attention to your pets and how they act. when. They she got a point, though. Pay attention because pets are very, they pick up on other people's, I guess, their, their inner feelings. And if somebody's coming to harm you, a pet would usually, especially dogs, would usually pick up on the, that sense. So she has a point. They get around certain people. That says a lot because you know how much love and compassion it takes to care for a pet. Your pet will never leave your side. So when these men tell you, oh, you're going to die alone, take it as a compliment because those pets will be there for you faster, quicker. They'll alert you. They'll listen. They know. But that person will be gone like the wind. Pay attention. Dogs are the 
past. I mean, they're always by your side. So people do have a point where when they say that, you know, just having a dog by your side or having a companion, a companionship doesn't always have to be, you know, as far as human companionship. So I do, there is some understanding. I do understand that. I love dogs. Big dogs, small dogs. I love dogs. A lot of people have dogs in their household and their family to the family. It's not like you keep a dog outside. Why do we love our pets so much? As an animal communicator, I'm gonna tell you why, and it's it's a little crazy. First of all, animals have mastered unconditional love. None of what I'm about to say works unless you understand that and the fact that we have not mastered unconditional love. An animal soul has a mission. They come into their human's life and help that human experience unconditional love. So when you feel all ugly and hopefully and excited about your pet, you're actually helping your pet fulfill their mission to help you experience unconditional. I like dogs more than people. You love dogs more than people. More than people. Dogs are always there for you, man. You can't knock it. when you love your dog more than your BF. Now that's taking it a little too far. So why do you love your dog more than you love people? The answer goes a little bit deeper than you may think. In Genesis 1, we see that God created man in his own image. He created him in the image of God. He created them male and female. And then after creating mankind, it says that God blessed them. Might be a little too deep or not. Them and said to them, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, and subdue it. Rule over the fish of the sea, the birds of the sky, and every creature that crawls on the earth. Now, one of the things that you're going to see in the Genesis account is that mankind's relationship with animals is completely different than one another. First of all, we're not called to rule over one another. We are only called to rule over the animals that God created. In other words, the reason why you love your dog so much is because he does what you want him to do. Also, this is one heckin' good pupper. In other words, the dog isn't gonna do anything outside of what you've trained them to do. The dog's behavior is really only a result of the conditioning that it's been through. The same dog that grew up in a caring family, had it not been in a caring family, would be one of the most vicious dogs you knew. But it isn't so with human beings. You can't control other people. Heck, you could put somebody in the most caring, loving family on the face of the planet, raising them in the right principles, and they'll still go out and do the most evil, horrible things on the face of the planet. I don't care how much you cry, you're not getting no damn pup cup. You got snacks at the house. They want to charge you two damn dollars for a cup of whipped cream. You got snacks at the house. Yes, may I have a Betsy hot chai with a double shot blonde espresso made with oat milk, no water. What? Okay, what else can I do? Anything else? And a puck cup. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, it's gonna be 904. <laughs> At least it's 904. Another thing, if you have a dog, remember, it's two. You're not just eating for yourself. You gotta feed your dog too. Look. When it comes to pets versus people, I think the pets got its beat, you guys. I don't know, when it comes to compassion, loving people just for who they are. Pets, I think they got its beat. You guys let me know, do you guys have pets or do you guys have a dog or cat? Let me know down below, leave a comment. And if you do have a pet, leave your pet's name down below. I would love to know. And also, I think I'm gonna look into getting a puppy myself. So, until next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, AKA Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do with this channel. Subscribe.